Hi everyone, how are you? So today I thought I would film a video and I'm filming my very first Friday favorites. I thought that I might start doing these maybe not every Friday, maybe like every other Friday and just show you guys five products that I've loved throughout the week so they're not too long and that way I can just kind of keep you updated on things that I've been loving throughout the week and then if I include them in my monthly favorites at the end you'll know that I really loved them throughout the month. Let's try to disregard my hair in this video. I feel like I'm having the worst hair day ever. I curled it and the curls fell out immediately like literally 10 minutes later it was like straight so it's in like that awkward in between frizzy straight curly phase I'm not sure I have the hardest hair to curl ever it didn't used to be like that when I was in college I used to curl my hair every single day and it stayed but now it's like it doesn't curl so if you have any recommendations for hard to curl hair let I'm me sure know I'm just using the wrong hairspray the wrong products but I kind of just want to chop it I'm really really getting ready to just cut it it's um I want to cut it to like not where my these aren't like my overgrown bangs but I kind of want to just cut it to this length and like kind of angle it a little bit not like an angled bob because that's a little bit too short for me but like a really overgrown angled bob and I just cut off three inches the other day so it's a little bit shorter than it normally is so I think I'm just going to go slowly and start cutting off three inches by three inches but I don't know I'm really nervous because I feel like I'm really attached to my hair last time I cut it was like five years ago I cut it to here and I hated it but I, I'm kind of ready for a change I just feel like this long hair just doesn't really do anything for me so I don't know I'm nervous but I definitely want to do it. Let me know if it. you think that I should cut it or if you think that I should just leave it I could use some advice or some opinions I would love to hear them. I don't know so anyway off my tangent this is just going to be like a casual video I hope you guys are having a good Friday or a good weekend depending on when you watch this my weekend I'm looking forward to it because my husband actually has Friday off so we are just going to hang out and then Saturday I'm going to a blog so conference. I think it'll be fun just to interact and meet with bloggers around the area and then Sunday we always just go to church have lunch come home you usually take a nap and then we go to the park and usually go to my parents house on Sunday just to hang out with my sisters and my parents and so it's really fun so I hope you guys have a good weekend whatever your plans so are. anyways I just thought I would show you guys some of my favorites throughout the week so the first one is probably no surprise because I've been talking about these non-stop and every single eye look um, except for today of course is has been with these throughout I don't know like September and October these are limited edition it's the Maybelline eye studio quads and this one is in autumn dream I love them all but I have been wearing this one a lot I've been getting a lot of questions on it there is a really gorgeous like emerald green in here and I put down an eyeshadow base and put this on my lid and then just blend a brown into the crease and I feel like it's just so pretty for fall I don't normally wear a lot of colored eyeshadows but really Recently I've been liking like greens and purples and I also want to get into like this navy color because I feel like they're fun and they're subtle because it's over your lid but you're still putting a neutral in the crease and these are just so pigmented. I think I've mentioned them in like every single one of my recent videos but I cannot stress enough how much I love these. So the next product I want to mention is also an eye product and I actually showed this in my last video because it was a haul. I had pre-recorded it so I've been using this for a little while and it is a Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow in the color bronze have more fun and this is just a really gorgeous cream base they kind of reminded me of the Maybelline color tattoos before I had tried them that was just like my first impression and I love the Maybelline color tattoos but I feel like they can get a little thick and hard to spread which is okay it doesn't normally bother me until I tried this and this is so creamy it goes on so nicely it literally just glides over your eyelid they're not quite as pigmented as the Maybelline color tattoos but if you're just using them as a base and putting a shadow on top of them I think they're amazing I had this on and it did not crease at all which I thought was amazing because the Maybelline color tattoos stay on but they do crease at the end of the day for me which is fine but this one lasted like a full 12 hours without creasing I also like the fact that it's not as pigmented because it really it's just like a nice dark base to kind of give you a dark wash over your lid and then you can place a color on top of it and I've been using this green color on top of it so it really helps the green color to show through without making it appear bronzy and I love it I think that it's really great they are a little bit on the expensive side so I'm not sure if I would be purchasing more of them 
but I really, really like it. Next, I have been loving this nail polish by Essie in the color Style Anomics, and it's just a dark forest green. I have this on my nails for a really long time before I switched back to red, but I really like this because on your nails, it's really, really dark, but you can tell that it's a green color, so I felt like it was just a nice alternative to black or navy my blue. My next favorite I am actually wearing today, and it is the L'Oreal the Lac in the color Laconic, and oh my goodness, I'm wearing it today, and I am just obsessed with it. I love red lips so, so much, but these... I don't, this is the only one I have, so I'm not sure if they're all like this, but it just goes on so smoothly. It's completely full coverage with one coat. It's super shiny, and what I like best about it is it hasn't gotten on my teeth yet, because whenever I wear red lips, they always get on my teeth when I'm talking a lot, and this one is just, it's so beautiful. It's like a completely different texture than any other lip product that I've tried, and I love it. I'm definitely going to try more but of them. I think that they have a really gorgeous pink that I want to try, and... I just love it. I recommend this so, so much, and I'm definitely going to try more of these. And my fifth favorite for the week has been this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee, and I really, really like this. I've been wanting to try these butter glasses for the longest this time. This is such a beautiful pinky nude color. I've been wearing it over L'Oreal's Fairest Nude, and I just like it. They go on so smoothly. They are just beautiful. I have a couple of them now, and I really like this one. If you're looking for a good neutral, you can even wear it on its own. It's just beautiful, and like it says, it feels really like it melts onto your lips. It's just a nice texture. So that was my very first Friday favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Let me know if you want to keep seeing them or if you just prefer my monthly favorites in the comments down below. But I hope you guys have a great weekend, whatever you decide to do. Have fun and I hope that you enjoy the fall weather and I will see you guys in my video on Sunday. I will talk to you later. Bye!